Here's the question, what is a DOS and a DDoS attack and how can we prevent it from happening? Uh, before we begin, let's understand what is a DOS. So DOS basically stands for Denial of Service. It simply means denying the service. Uh, in this case, the bad actor is trying to communicate with the server, but not in a legitimate way, but in a malicious way. And it is trying to disrupt the services of the server or make it unavailable. Uh, it will try to send a spoofed TCP packets or spoofed UDP packets so that the server becomes unresponsive and legitimate traffic can never make it to the server. And now, What's a DDoS? To simply put, DDoS is distributed denial of service. To give an analogy, uh, DOS is one to one and DDoS is many to one. Let's explain it a bit more further. So in our previous example, the bad actor was trying to send malicious packets to the target server, but that was just one malicious actor. So that's why we call it a DOS. But in DDoS, there is a group of bad actors which you know, take over a lot of bot machines, which we also call as a botnet, and it will try to send a lot of TCP or UDP spoof packets from different geographical location in most of the cases and try to attack a single server. That is distributed denial of service and the server gets so busy in answering or, re or replying to all of those packets that it legitimate users again cannot reach out. Now that we have an understanding of DDoS, now let's try to understand the type of DDoS attacks. Starting with Smurf attack. So what's a Smurf attack? So a Smurf attack, uh, of course, it's a type of a DDoS attack that sends packet which with a spoof to victim's IP address. And so what happens is the first, the malware, it creates a network packet and attaches itself to a false IP. A technique that commonly called as uh, spoofing. Now inside this packet, there is an ICMP ping message that is asking network nodes to receive the packet and send the reply back. But these replies, or as to say, uh, echo messages are sent back to the network IP address again, setting up an infinite loop. So these infinite loop turn out to be so big that the, when the device on the network attempts to respond, the amount of traffic it receives, it, you know, the target device, it is so much that it slows down and makes it unusable. Next, we study the uh, sync flood attack. So what's a sync flood attack? A uh, sync flood attack is uh, in an attack that opens many connections with the target device or the target server and then never closes them. So as an example, the attacker acting as a client will send a sync message, but the server responds also responds with a sync SYNAC message, responding that, yes, I would like to initiate a connection. But here there is the malicious intent. The malicious uh, client never sends back an ACK message and completes the connection. This way, the server is forced to keep numerous open connection and taxing its own resources, resulting in a denial of service. And how about the last one that is layer seven DOS tags, which is getting increasingly common nowadays to attack the very last layer of the OSI model that is application layer. So what happens here is that a layer 7 DDoS attack or an, is also called an amplification attack targets a specific service instead of an entire network. So it might target a specific uh, application that has already been infected and it might create a botnet of its own. These are very becoming very increasingly nowadays with more broad network attacks. Now that we know the type of DOS attacks, how can you prevent that from happening in the first place? So let's go through some examples and some methodologies that you can follow. First, perform a network vulnerability audit.
So in order to perform or properly defend your network, you would have to understand its own weaknesses. Do always do a complete review of all of your devices on your network. This process includes defining their function within the network, recording the system information, and outlining its own existing vulnerabilities. This level of visibility will allow you to understand your network's deficiencies, prioritize them by urgency, and patch any holes to keep them from being exploited. Next, secure your infrastructure. To successfully defend against a DOS attack, you need to make sure that your you know, castle is well forfeited. For this, it is essential to have a multi-level protection strategy or layered strategy and counter filtering yeah, like VPNs, firewalls, load balancing, and security layers to spot and block the attacks before they overwhelm your own network. Next, how to re reduce the service of the attack. One of the most effective strategies against DOS attack is to reduce the size of the available network area. The smaller the size of the attack surface, the easier it is to defend. While there are many ways of implementing this, micro-segmentation is an innovative approach gaining a popularity nowadays. So what's a micro-segmentation? It splits a network into granular zones and protects each zone separately. The net effect is a higher overall security profile. Create a DOS response plan. I personally like this one. The the purpose of the plan is to ensure that your current setup is secure, that you can detect and attack as soon as possible, and that everyone in your team knows their role should an attack occur, and that an escalation matrix and resolution procedures are clear and handouts are given out. This means the plan should provide a system checklist, define the response team, the SLAs, and lay out the entire response process. And the last one, which is one of the most important ones, the earlier you can spot a DOS attack, the more likely that it is that you will be able to defend it successfully. So you should know the warning signs. Common warning signs can of a beginning of a DOS, DOS attack are poor connectivity, slowing down of network, repeated site crashes, or any kind of a sus sustained disruption of performance. I hope that helps. And do not forget to subscribe for more videos and content like these. Your suggestions and comments are most welcome. Thank you.